Hello everyone. Here we are beginning with a new chapter of your chemistry paper 1 that is solid state and in this particular module we are going to discuss definition of matter and its type and also we are going to cover characteristic of solids. Now whatever we see around us say from the point a television set to a point of an LCD player to that of a wooden door to that of a laptop or a cold drink or a steaming coffee to that of a vehicle which is moving on the road or a plane which is moving in the air to that of the fume which is coming from the vehicle all of them fall into a very simple term called as matter where I say that matter has three simple states of which the first one is solid, the second one is liquid and the third one is gases. If I talk about the example, then a simple example of a solid is ice, that of a liquid is water and that of a gas is steam. And from the previous knowledge which we have, we are aware that solids on heating convert to liquids, liquids on further heating converts to gas, gases on cooling turns to liquid and liquids on further cooling turns to solids. Now let's have a look at each of the example or each of the conversion in detail. The first example shows you the conversion of solid into liquid that is precisely melting of ice. This particular part will show you a water cycle where you will address that the water from the sea evaporates, evaporates to give you cloud, the cloud becomes dense and once again it comes in the form of rain and here I see the first process is nothing but liquid to gas conversion and the second one is gas to liquid conversion. Also if I talk about one more example then here you will observe conversion of liquid into solid that's one more example, conversion of liquid into solid. So here we saw the interconversion of solid to liquid, liquid to gas, gas to liquid and liquid to once again solid. And if the question is okay, how these three states of matter are interconvertible, then the answer is simple that is intermolecular force of attraction. And here I say that the physical state of matter is the result of interplay of intermolecular force of attractions like dipole-dipole interaction, dipole-induced dipole interaction, London forces and hydrogen bonding and there are many more. But this is the reason for the interconversion of three states of matter. Precisely if I talk about solids, then in solids the intermolecular force IMF is the strongest. In case of liquid, the intermolecular force of attraction is moderate and in case of gases, the intermolecular force of attraction is weak. Wherein, in case of solids, if I talk about the mass, shape, density, volume, let's talk about that. In case of solids, they have a definite shape they have a definite mass, they have a definite volume and they have a definite density. Whereas in case of liquids, they have a definite mass, they have a definite volume and density but they have an indefinite shape. Wherein in case of gases, they have indefinite volume, indefinite density and indefinite shape. That's a possible thing which you should know about uh, this three states of matter. Out of these three states of matter that is solid, liquid and gases, liquids and gases already we have discussed in our 11th standard chapter that is states of matter. So right now here we are going to discuss solid state in detail. So let's start with the first part of the chapter that is characteristics of solids. The first point says that solids of fixed composition will have fixed mass volume, shape and density. Solids of fixed composition will have fixed mass, volume, shape and density. The second characteristics of solid is that in case of solids, the intermolecular distance is dash. Let's try to answer this. Let's have a look into this particular solid. And if you look into the solid, if you peep inside the solid, we'll observe that the arrangement of particles Let's magnify that. The arrangement of particle is very close and hence we say that the distance 
the distance, the intermolecular distance in case of solids is very short. The distance is the shortest. Now why the distance is shortest is just because the intermolecular force of attraction is very strong and because the distance is very short and the intermolecular force of attraction is very strong, we say that solids are hard, they are rigid and they are incompressible. Let's have a look at the last characteristics of solids. The last characteristics of solids precisely talks about something called as the position and motion. If we have a look at this particular arrangement and if I ask you what exactly is the position then the particles have a fixed position and if you have a look at the motion of the particles then the particles are in a vibratory motion they are in an oscillatory motion. So here I say the position is fixed and the motion is vibratory and hence I conclude with my last characteristics of solids by saying that the constituent particles in solids have fixed position and vibratory motion. That's all we have for this particular module. Thank you so much.